I hope you're well, you've got Mr. Everything English and welcome to another video. Now, we are in May of 2021 and year 11s still blow me away when they ask me the following question. Sir, what's the difference between English language paper one and English language paper two? So for once and for all, I think we should address this in this video so everyone is clear that if they have an exam for paper one, this is what they do. And if they have an exam for paper two, this is what they do. Now guys, before we begin, as always, please make sure you click subscribe. If you haven't checked me out on TikTok or Instagram, please do give me a follow. Now, let's begin. So guys, first things first, both English language papers are one hour and 45 minutes in length. So guys, both papers are one hour and 45 minutes in length. We spent 15 minutes planning both papers. So guys, we spent 15 minutes planning both papers. That leaves us with one and a half hours for actual writing time. Now the 15 minutes planning includes reading. So question one for both papers. Question one for paper one guys is a four mark question and we spent five minutes on this question. Now for this question, you have to write down four statements that are either true or false based upon the extract. That's question one. Question one, paper two. This time you are given eight statements and each statement has a box with a circle in it. Rather than writing it down, this time you must shade in the box of the four statements that are true or false based upon the question. So both of them are four marks, five minutes, but they require different things to be done to them. Let's move on now guys to question two. Paper one, question two is an eight mark question, which means we spend 10 minutes and we do anything between two to three paragraphs when it comes to writing. This is a language question and the question would always ask you, how does the writer use language for so-and-so and you must pick out language devices and word phrases and talk about their effects. Paper one, sorry, paper two, question two, is eight marks. You also spend 10 minutes, but you only do two paragraphs. Now this time we are writing a summary of differences or a summary of similarities. We're not talking about language devices, we're simply summarizing the text based upon the question. Now guys, if you want more in-depth knowledge of each of the questions, I've got videos where I answer every single question, so do watch them. But the purpose of this video is just to compare them side by side. Now, paper one, question three guys, this is the structure question. And this is still worth eight marks, 10 minutes, two to three paragraphs. And the question always says, how does the writer use structure to interest the reader? Done. Paper one, keep doing this. Paper two, question three, is a 12 mark question. So guys, paper two, question three, is a 12 mark question and is a language question. Now for this question, because it's worth more marks, we are looking to write in more detail. However, is still a language question. So we pick out language devices, uh, word phrases, and so on. So guys, paper two, question three, and paper one, question two, are the same question. It's just that paper one is eight marks, paper two is 12 marks. Therefore here, we write in a little bit more detail. Now let's move on to paper one, question four. Guys, paper one, question four is a 20 mark question. We spend 20 minutes, and this question, guys, always has a statement and then it asks you, to what extent do you agree? You are looking to write four paragraphs explaining how you strongly agree. Paper two, question four, guys. This is a 16 mark question. And in this question, we are comparing writer's methods. Methods means either structural devices or language devices. And this is what we are comparing. And that is section A for both papers complete. Then we move on to the big ones. We move on to both question fives. They are both worth 50% of their exams, 40 marks. We spend 45 minutes and we are looking to write anywhere between two to three sides. 
Paper one, question five, guys, is one of two, normally. Either they ask you to describe a picture or write a story. Paper two, question five, is asking to write a speech or a letter or an article or a blog and so on. And they normally give you a statement and they either ask you to argue for or against or they ask you to give your opinion. And that's it, guys. That is your exam. Do not get the two papers confused. Paper one is its own entire paper. Paper two is a separate paper. Paper one is out of 80. Paper two is out of 80. Together, you get a mark of out of 160 and that is your GCSE grade. Now guys, before I end the video, I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support and the kind messages. I am really pleased that these videos are benefiting you guys because that is why I do what I do. All right, guys, I'm not going to waffle. I'm not going to talk for the sake of talking. I will end the video here. As always, guys, I hope you found the video beneficial. It's been Mr. Everything English. Peace.